This way you can't see me, right? Cameras are rolling, this way I can hear you. Do you want me to take the dryer off? Sure. The jacket you need? The dryer? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, <laughs> well, you can make some you, look, you look like you're up to no good. <laughs> up to no good. <laughs> We're back! We're back in What's Cooking in Esther's Kitchen for the first time in months. So we're going to ease back into it. Everybody say cheese! Mozzarella style Esther approved cheese. We're actually going to be showing you, of course, how to make it now. And we're going to be using it in our next couple of recipes. It's awesome. The texture's crazy cool. Um, it's shreddable, sliceable. You can use it for all kinds of things. Meltable, edible. Everything. It's awesome. So, yeah, and it's super easy. So we're going to get started. Derek will be dealing with dry ingredients. I'm going to get started with wet ingredients. Um, I've got here seven teaspoons of agar powder. You can also use agar flakes. I think this is, like I said, seven teaspoons. If it was agar flakes that you have access to, then you want seven tablespoons. Derek's getting to another appetizer. So I've got over here a um, one cup of boiling water. I'm going to add this agar, and then I've got to stir it constantly. And it's going to thicken up like crazy. Where do you see this? It's really, really cool. So I'll deal with this, get this blended and mixing, and Derek can deal with... Families that cook and drink together, wine. they stay together. Can deal with so wine and it's dry important things. that all your meals include wine. Tonight we're uh, including a <laughs> Pinot Blanc uh, <laughs> and from a very interesting lady on the label here. <laughs> Served in a red chalice. Cheers. Cheers. Here's to Esther's kitchen. Oh, listen to the cheers. Oh, that was oh. just beautiful, isn't it? Mm -hmm. mm. Music to my ears. Okay. okay, this stuff gets really thick. So. Um, we've got uh, our cashews that have been soaked. We soaked our nuts overnight. We've strained them. And what we're going to do is we're going to add them all to this little food processor that we have here. It's not an elaborate food processor mm -hmm. by any means, uh, but it will do the trick just fine. If we're you're crunched for time, too, you can you can always soak those nuts uh, minimum three hours. We did overnight, but if you're crunched for time, like I said, minimum three hours. Or, if you're even more crunched for time, you can do um, boiling water. Soak them in boiling water for at least 30 minutes, and that should soften them up enough for you. So all the ingredients going in here, we got one and a half cups of raw cashews. We're going to put in two-thirds of a cup of warm water. We got half, sorry, we got a quarter cup of tapioca flour, and we've got some nutritional yeast, apple cider vinegar, olive oil, sea salt, garlic powder. So we're going to put all those in the food processor, give those a little blend up. All the ingredients you can find at the bottom of this feed, we'll post them uh, as one of the comments, and I will have it all in writing there for you. All the ingredients going in. Yeah, and check this stuff out. This stuff is getting crazy thick. It's really neat. It's made from seaweed, it's right? It's like a and thick applesauce, eh? Like it is. It does look like kind of like a really thick applesauce right now, and it'll get a little bit thicker. We want to be stirring this for five minutes on like a medium to low heat. And then as we keep going, it of course is getting a bit thicker. This is the replacement for gelatin. So this can be used, agar can be used in like candies, puddings. Um, this is like we're doing, it's really common in um, plant-based cheeses, Esther approved cheeses. It's a super handy little ingredient that you can find it at most health food stores. So yeah, you go ahead with that. You can put your water in. Yeah. But that's not, oh, there's no blade in here. Oh, that's helpful. Yeah. <laughs> so we need to put a blade. In. There's, there's uh, one component missing here. Hysterical. Oh, there it is. is. <laughs> here, go right back in your yeah. bowl. That's, uh, oh, that's, oh, that's hilarious. That's not big enough. See, this is our kitchen. Our return to Esther's kitchen has been slightly delayed today. This is the second time. So that we made nice. this mozzarella cheese because the last time we didn't turn the camera on. <laughs> right, Cornelius? Yeah. So. Hilarious. So now so, we've had a glass of wine, and we're trying this again. <laughs> the blades are sharp, and they are in. Let's try that again. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. What did the blind man say when he got handed the cheese grater? Oh my god. What did he say? That's the most violent book I've ever read. Oh! <laughs> 
We're making a grateable cheese. Oh, his stupid <laughs> jokes again. My dry humor dealing with the dry ingredients. <laughs> Hello. I'm gonna grind them up. <laughs> yeah, so we gotta grind those for like a solid minute. We wanna make this as smooth as possible. Woo! <laughs> We've got two puppy dog friends that are visiting us. Hey, hey, hey. What are you the doing? Come here, Come set. on. We got Shelby, who is 18 years old, and Ruben, who is 17 years old, and they love Astro Brew cheeses. And of course, Cornelius in the background. He also loves a good cracker. So the consistency of this, uh, the nuts here, is like thick oatmeal. Smoother than that. You want it to be like super, super smooth. It'll okay. go to like that oatmeal hummus. stage. Hummus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hummus is a better. Or like pancake batter. Yep. It's yep. a little thicker than pancake batter. Yep. I got this <laughs> pretty much ready. How's that coming? This is ready. This is ready. This is ready. So, okay, Steve's so. going to pour in his. So, see how thick this gets. It's crazy. It's like thick. wallpaper glue, too. It, even. <laughs> it does kind of look like. Wallpaper glue is very hot. Be careful. It, it is, yes. <laughs> Be careful. All right. So, yeah, I'm going to scoop all of this into our food processor here. So, this is what's going to actually thicken it up and make it that cheesy texture of mozzarella. Um, you can play with this too if you want it to be a little bit firmer or a little bit softer. Add a little bit more or less. It's a, uh, it's a pretty cool ingredient. It does have an, uh, you know, a, a smell to it, but like um, at, at the very beginning when you're cooking with yeah. it, when you first add it to the water, but uh, that yeah. doesn't transfer. Yeah, it's like a fishy smell. It's made of like a, is it an algae or a seaweed or something? I think. It is. Yep. So we're going to blend this again for another minute. This will just help smooth up those cashews a little bit more. And of course, blend that agar. Here, let me free up one of your hands so you can have a chalice. Um, <laughs> this. So you can use any form or any mold for these. Last time we used a little bowl like this. Um, that's, that. that's probably good. So you can also use a um, like a cloth and a little bit of plastic wrap if you want to wrap it like a little ball of mozzarella. So you can do whatever you want. I'm gonna so yeah, just putting a release little. agent there in the bowl. And your favorite chicken bowl. Yeah, it's got a little chicken. And of course it does. <laughs> oh yeah, obviously. And then we're gonna spoon this mixture in. So check yeah. that out. Yeah. So it's already sets. It sets really quickly as it cools. So that's why we use warm water with your um, dry ingredients when you're first um, blending up those nuts. And of course you're putting in that hot agar mix in there. We have. And so here's a little secret. Um, you can, if you can't wait for it to set up. It's so delicious right yeah. now when it's warm. Yeah, totally. Is. You can just get a bag of nacho chips and just to get right to that. Yeah, so it's important to bang the bottom there a little bit you know, to get the to burp. And that's it. It's that easy. It really is. So you fill up your molds. Obviously, there's a lot more there than that one mold that we filled. More. But this is how it comes out. So you get this little shape out of a bowl like that. Or like I said, you can do this one. It was an actual... Great it. Great it. Show them. Yeah, this was an actual um, ball of mozzarella. Check this out. Hilarious. So there you have it, folks. Esther approved mozzarella cheese. This is going to go Amazing. hand in hand with the very next video. You can check out this video. We'll yes. probably go on to Esther's Kitchen as well. Right. As yeah, this will be up. And the right. recipe also will be up on Life According to Esther and Esther's Kitchen. And yeah, our next recipe is going to be a chili taco that will require this homemade mozzarella. So well, that's that. Should we show it to Esther? Let's see what she thinks of this spectacular cheesy plate. And Shelby's here waiting. Dolores is here waiting. We got the whole family here. Everybody's here. So let's move on in. You take this. Too big. What's this, baby? So I've got the warm cheese. Come here, below. What's this? Oh, 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 oh. Look at this. What's this? Sit up, darling. Yes. And I just put some of that warm cheese right on top of some of these. <laughs> oh, yes, she of does want some. Oh, Folks, that is delicious. simple ingredients prepared. Cornelius is maneuvering. Esther approved mozzarella cheese. Super easy, super versatile. Like I said, you can use it for, like we're doing now, just as snacks. You can use it for pizza, for sandwiches, for wraps, quesadillas, tacos, all kinds of awesome stuff. So, good luck. <laughs> Try it. Enjoy.
And we will see you guys very soon. Oh, okay. Esther is super excited oh. about this one. <laughs> <laughs> see you guys. Enjoy, guys. We'll talk to you soon. I couldn't make sense of what was happening in there. Because this is missing stuff. Is it? <laughs> What's missing? Well, it just says bring one cup of water to a boil in a small nonstick saucepan, stir in the agar agar flakes. Hmm? Cook on medium heat for five minutes, stirring occasionally. The mixture will thicken. All the remaining ingredients to a blender. Oh, so all remaining. Mm-hmm. Mm. I didn't understand that there was this reading it's out in my head, but when I read it aloud, it makes more sense. It makes more sense. <laughs>